Hey everybody, welcome back. Look who it is. So boss hog. <laughs> this is this beautiful, beautiful ogre. Uh, looks like Helm and Gabon. We are in the uh, Lake Wraith. Uh, killing the, uh, what do you call it? The Aviat Guards here at the entrance to, uh, to the arena. And uh, getting a little bit of XP here. I'm currently level 21. Uh, almost 22 and I decided I wanted to uh, play this character because I haven't been on him in a while so why the hell not I know boss hog is a favorite of some of you guys so you know I figured uh, let's let's get uh, knock some of the dust off of him and get him a little bit of XP and of course I cast fear first there we go um, I wanted to say I hope you guys enjoyed the the, the last video I put out the uh, the clerical one. I tried to do uh, some some different stuff with with that video, and I hope you found it enjoyable. Uh, right now, I am uh, kind of not sure what I want to do as far as EverQuest is concerned. You know, um, I don't know where the hell did he go. Oh, there he is. Um, the thing is, is it's like, do I want to stay on the green server, or do I want to continue playing on uh, the blue server? You know, what got me, what really got me thinking about it is that uh, I was watching a video. You come back here, I swear. Uh, I was watching a video from Super Bits and Bob. Oh my goodness! <clears throat> and he was uh, talk talking about whether or not the green server is the right server for him. And I, you know, it got me thinking: is it is it really for me too? I've got some friends here on this server uh, that know and like Boss Hog <laughs> or, or me, I guess you could say. And I, I do enjoy playing with them. I haven't played with them as I haven't actually been able to play too much because of my job you know the, the Christmas uh, New Year's season so they have out leveled me and I'm not actually able to play with them anymore so that, that's kind of a bummer but it's uh, it's what it is really uh, you know I'm a blue server I've got some higher level characters I've got like a 52 and a 50 and, and that's really that's not like only higher level characters um and I was wondering what uh, what's going to happen to the green server. Is it really worth my time to to continue on here? It's not to say I don't like the characters. I like Boss Hog, and I'm enjoying the cleric so far. I, I enjoy the fact that I'm able to. Uh, I'm working on. I want to do quests. I want to show the quests in a game. But does this server get dumped into the blue server, or does? Uh, does it become its own entity and green restart again? I don't know. Uh, I've actually made a couple characters on the red server. And I, I have actually enjoyed that. It's it's definitely a different experience. They're, they're, they're not high by any stretch. But, you know, I actually am, I'm going to make a video on that one. Uh, after, after this video, kind of a, a Q&A video on that so you know if you ever kind of wondered about red you know maybe maybe it's something you might want to check out i'll i'll share you with you guys what a little bit i've learned since being on red and you know something to uh, consider really <clears throat> yeah uh but i just i don't, I don't know about, about this server i am maybe you guys can help Give me your input on whether or not I should uh, stick around on this server, or if uh, maybe uh, the the blue server or the green server might be the server, or sorry, the blue server, the red server, or hell, even the green server might be the server to stick with. Who knows? I just I don't. Um, I do enjoy this character still quite a bit. I like the uh, the simplicity of it. Well. <laughs> level 21 it can't be too complex right I mean uh, you, 
don't have a lot of spells to go with. You're not actually attacking, uh, having to really put too much thought into anything. It's just a matter of uh, face tanking it. You know, uh, I don't know. I don't know. But anyway, that's my thoughts, guys. Uh, we're gonna. I'm probably gonna stick this uh, st stick to this spot here till about uh, level 22. I don't know where we're gonna go afterwards. I do like this spot because it is. Uh, it's real quiet. Uh, the spawns are. They're they're fairly quick actually. Normally, I'm used to like. <coughs> excuse me. What was it? Six minute six minute respawn times and, and this one seems to be a little bit shorter than that you know let's see there is three people in the zone I remember before Kudark came out this zone was really busy I mean you know I you know that might have been one of the reasons why I was kind of wondering what to do with or why well, I kind of didn't want to really play this character so much was not only is there that XP penalty so you know, it takes more XP to level up, but just trying to find spots to level up. You know, I play uh, kind of an odd, oddish hours of the day as opposed to most, and and uh, as far as my days, my days are going to be a bit the same. It's kind of more or less during the week, during the day, and not being able to get you know a spot where you can get XP flowing regularly has been a bit frustrating to me. I mean, heck, uh, I, honestly, I should be a lot higher than this, but I just, you know, many times when I log on this character, it's it's just I spend most of my time running around trying to find a spot to level up, you know. But now that Kudark's out, uh, looks like this spot's kind of opened up and I'm actually able to get some XP. So, you know, I'm, I'm quite, quite happy with that. I really am. And this spot reminds me of the spot when I, the video I had where I was fighting the scarabs, where, you know, I could kill, kill around, sit, heal up, meditate, do some stuff around the house I need to do, come back, you know, rinse and repeat. You know, I, I kind of like those spots. I, I would prefer if I could go to a spot with like an experience modifier, like a, a nice dungeon and, uh, where the XP flows faster, get into a group. But it just hasn't seemed to be that way for me, unfortunately. <coughs> Which is a bit frustrating, excuse me. Which is a bit frustrating because it kind of, you know, I have requests, it takes forever to level up, especially as you get higher levels. And whenever, you know, you, you kind of struggle to find a spot for XP, it, it really kind of puts a damper on your enthusiasm to, to play a character. And I guess even a game if you think about it but uh, like right now it doesn't seem to be the case uh, I think well, well I don't know you guys let me know what you think if um, what what I should do you know I'm all ears I'm all ears for suggestions um, I just I don't know I really don't know like I said I'm currently enjoying this character and I'd like to get him higher but is it really? Is it a, is it a waste of time? <laughs> is games a waste of time? <laughs> you know, as some people would say. I just, I don't know. But anyway, um, I'm going to call this video it here. I'm, I'm trying not to make my videos too terribly long. Because I know you probably don't want to sit and hear me ramble on uh, for too long. In fact, it might be just, it might be too long now as we speak. <laughs> you know, I guess it's just... One of those, uh, one of those risks we'll have to take. I'll do one more pull real quick before I end the video. One of the things I noticed is that these aviate guards here, uh, good and bad, is what I do is I take them back here to the end, uh, just to the entrance basically of the arena, and then uh, I dot them up, I put the darkness on them, and then I hit fear on it, fear on them, and I try to fear resist or darkness resisted see that's the that's the thing every time i'm recording damn near every time either my spells don't go off or they get resisted and then uh sometimes they get unlucky with these uh, aviacs where see when i fear them they'll start running out 
Sometimes they'll run back and forth where I just was, and I don't have to worry about it too much. But it seems like here lately, especially now that I'm recording, they uh, they just want to run away. They just want to run out. Uh, yeah, see, real easy camp. Uh, they drop the uh, the weapons they're dropping. They drop weapons quite a bit of times actually, and some of these little gems here. Uh, but these bronze weapons, which sell for a pretty good little amount of money, you know. And I'm broke. <laughs> I don't have a farming character. I'm just uh, I'm just a simple ogre trying to make his way in Norrath. <clears throat> but there's vendors along the sides of the lake that you can sell to. There's a gypsy camp that you can sell to. They also have uh, food and bandages and everything. And so you really don't have to leave the zone to sell. It's just a, a short little swim. But yeah, not too bad of a camp. If you guys can't find a spot, uh, I say that now because I couldn't find a spot. But I was, <laughs> was going to recommend this spot. You know, uh, give it a go, especially now that it's pretty dead. I think I've ram rambled on enough. Thank you guys again for watching. I'll try to make some more videos. <clears throat> uh, I don't know what character. I'll try to put some more editing and stuff in them again. Try to make it more enjoyable for you guys. But I will uh, talk to you guys again soon. Bye now.